Probation, prison, schools, China, yet again inaction man fails to heed the warning and then blames everyone else for the consequences. 40,000 people have crossed the Channel on a small boat and the taxpayer is now spending £6 million a day on hotel bills. He is failing to stop terrorists strolling out of prison failing to guard Britain against hostile actors, yeah. he's completely failing to stop the boats. Yeah. How can anyone trust him to protect the country? Yeah. Well, Mr. Mr Speaker, he, he talks about trust, he talks about action. Just today, this government is taking action to reform defective EU laws to unlock over 100,000 homes, boosting our economy, supporting jobs and ensuring that we can realise the aspirations of homeowners. Now, he tried, he talks about trust, he tried in this House to talk the talk on house building, but at the first sign of a cheap political hit, what did he do? He's caved in, Mr Speaker. Rather than make the right long-term decisions for the country, he's taken the easy way out. It is typical of the principles-free, conviction-free type of leadership that he offers. Flip-flopping from being a builder to a blocker, Mr Speaker, the British public can't trust a word he says. The truth is, the floor fell in for millions of families because of their economic mayhem. The classroom ceilings collapsed because he cut vital school budgets. Yeah. And now the walls of our national security have been breached because they've ignored repeated yeah. warnings. No one voted for these shambles. Yeah. No one voted for him. Yeah. So how much more damage do the British public have to put up with before he finally finds the stomach to give them a say? Yeah. Mr Speaker, we are, we are getting on for the British public just in the last week announcing a new landmark deal for British scientists, attracting £600 million of new investment for our world-leading auto industry and wages now rising at the fastest rate on record, Mr Speaker. And where has he been this week? Locked away with Labour's union paymasters promising to give them more power and scrap the laws that protect British families and their access to public services. It's clear it's only the Conservatives that are on the side of the hard-working British public. 